welcome again guys we are talking about CSI net suggestions and this is about the immunology suggestions right now they are not going to ask a huge amount of questions from immunology but uh, they are going to ask a moderate amount of questions majorly in the group C you know group C means they are analytical questions so that's why immunology comes uh, very important there now from the immunology term or perspective uh, immunology is a huge subject you know very very big subject you can't cover all of them all that but if you have in your syllabus you probably have read that once or twice but it's not you know what how difficult it is now in this case uh, you need to know you know majorly these four or five things I'm, I'm mentioning like immunoglobulins and majorly the structure and functions of structure and functions of immunoglobulins uh, that means what are the properties as well as the properties majorly if you don't understand the structure very well, it's fine. But property is very, very important. You need to know what are the specific property of immunoglobulins like, you know, immunoglobulin M. It is uh, combined with five immunoglobulins. In case of A, it is a secretory one. So these are the properties you need to learn a lot. Second thing is the autoimmune disorders. Certain disorders, example, uh, you know, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It's an example. So such, such examples, you know, you need to learn four or five very important diseases which are of major concern nowadays, which are related with these autoimmune systems or auto autoimmune uh, disorders. Third is the diseases associated. Any kind of diseases that are associated with immunological problems. Actually, uh, diseases like where uh, the organism is evading the immune system very brilliantly or they are inside the immune system cells. Example of this like mycobacterium tuberculosis in the TB infection, they are residing inside macrophages. So these are the type of infections uh, they are going to give you questions with then antigen uh, antibody reaction that is very important part you know different types of uh, analytical techniques actually I can also put it in the technique sections because these are also different biophysical techniques people use biochemical techniques also use for example techniques like El ELISA techniques like radial immunosorea and their ODD octalone double diffusion like you know radial immuno assay or radial immunodiffusion or all these different types of techniques that are available including the antigen antibody interaction or applying the antigen antibody interaction scheme all of them are important and what are why they are done why they are why they are prescribed and what are their role in the diagnosis and what are the disease uh, that are being diagnosed by these techniques this is important and along with that i also encourage you to understand certain things like you know anaphylaxis and majorly you know hypersensitivity hypersensitivity and complement and complement complement and hypersensitivity these are also part of immunology if you have time you just give certain amount of time in this majorly the type 1 and type 2 hypersensitivity they are very very important most important is the type 1 which is a mast cell mediated or IgE mediated hypersensitivity that is seen in human body right so these are the things you need to understand from immunology chapter and that's very very important once you understand all the all of them you're ready to go and it's a, always a good and friendly advice that uh, people actually immunology is related to cell biology it is related to molecular biology cell signaling so once you're reading all this you can actually relate things I'm going to tell you this is the most important point above all in biology if you relate all these things together if you relate the human physiology with immunology with cell biology and how everything occurs inside the cell and if you can look also in the macro level in human physiology what is the effect you learn biology then that is a major thing you need to connect things once you connect all the dots you get a big clear picture and nobody can defeat you once you have a big clear picture in in, in your head right so that's it guys thank you